Join us as we showcase the humorous side of the Karens and Kevins. Watch them turn mundane moments into laugh-out-loud escapades. Jumping right in, we bring you this Karen who misbehaves with an employee and can't take it when confronted with the same energy. Behave yourself, Karen. Don't swear. You can say that. I don't need to do anything. I was just asking you. I don't need to do anything. What do I need to do? I don't need to do anything. What are you going to do to me? I'm not going to do anything. Exactly. I don't have to do exactly. I don't have to do exactly. You will serve me. I will be leaving somebody in here serving me. She'll serve me. Karen is mad because the neighbor's dog barks. Dogs bark, lady, come on. No. He's your permanent dog? Yes. Okay, you gotta take him in. You can't let him howl, bark, and carry on like he's doing right now. Which gets the other one next door carried on. And the one down there, can carry him on. Okay? Mm. The whole neighborhood's real pissed off. So, I doubt, uh, before, okay. before I call the police and the animal control, you need to take him in and not let him, you know, not let him howl like this. The bark and totally disturb everybody. It's just not right, and you know it. I'm 
good morning. All work. Well, it's, 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 it's not something that you can work on. It's something that you need to implement and make happen. Uh-huh. No, good morning. I'm, I'm deadly serious. This man's inner Kevin is revealed after he loses court elections. Disrespecting opposition won't win you sympathy, man. I wish that in a circumstance like this, I would be able to concede to a worthy opponent. But I do not have a worthy opponent to which I can concede. This was the most deeply deceitful, dishonorable, despicable campaign I have ever seen run for the courts. It was truly beneath contempt. Now I say this not because we did not prevail. I do not say this because of the rancid slanders that were launched against me, although that was bad enough. But that is not my concern. My concern is the damage done to the institution of the courts. Yes. Yes. My opponent is a serial liar. Yes. She's disregarded judicial ethics. Yes. She's demeaned the judiciary with her behavior. And this is the future that we have to look forward to in Wisconsin. Moving forward, we have a Karen teacher. Would you ever allow your kids to be treated by this racist? Absolutely not. Please come here. Yes, can you get the police here, please? Wonderful. Help! Wonderful. Help me! Fire! Help me! Help me! Help! Help me! Why are you, you videotaping this? What are, what are you, like, do we call ISIS here? That, oh my God. She's a kindergarten teacher. And you're a kindergarten teacher. Oh my God. Really? Oh my God. Really? Does that trigger you? That does not trigger me. How annoying is this? Crazy Karen ruins street show because she thinks it's illegal to perform in the streets. Karen tries to ruin street performance. Hey, sweetheart, there's kids here. There's kids here. There's kids here. There's kids. Here. There's kids here. Oh. You should, you should have some respect, sweetheart. Please. Thank you. Could you please leave? Could you please leave? Sweetheart, we're doing flips in here for format. Can you please move over? You were just standing right there. Why would you come right here in our way? Can, can you please leave? Refuses to Does leave. Can you the cops on her, please? She's trying to ruin a great show with great people. And he says, look, you just got families to leave. Look at you. Like. Karen explains why she thinks it's illegal. She really doesn't care. A future Kevin in the making. This disrespectful kid tries to be an alpha in front of his teacher. I've had enough of this. This punishment stuff is going to stop. You're not going to tell me what I'm going to do and not do? I am now the alpha. Bro. Not how this works. <laughs> I am the teacher. The alpha takes priority over the teacher. The alpha takes priority over everything. Do you well, not know how that the works? The teacher is telling the alpha to sit in the seat right now. And the alpha doesn't have to listen to orders okay. from its lowest. Well, you don't have to listen, but the consequences that follow are going to still apply to the alpha. The alpha doesn't take punishment. Let's see how well that works out for you, okay? Kevin loses his temper so quickly. It means that I'm recording you. What does that mean? That I'm recording. Uh, hello. It means I'm recording. My okay. name, my name is not supposed to be in here. Good. You're not the cop. You're also but, not the manager. But I'm, it doesn't matter. You can continue to record because I'm on the phone with the manager. Ooh, I'm so scared. 
Ah, don't worry about it. My manager's gonna pull up. Goodbye. Hey, here. Sure should have. Mad because you couldn't get your head a crack. What you say? You heard me. I didn't hear you. You mad you was off so you can get your head a crack? I don't do crack. Yeah, whatever. Is that what you shaking and moving around for? Because you smoke well, crack? That's Listen, what you do. Get out of here, lady. You don't that's even know my do. name. It's right here on this video. First, that's what I'm saying. It's on the video. You don't remember. <laughs> dope fiend. All I got to do is watch it again. You a dope that's fiend. Okay. That's why you don't even know that. You got a bad Why are you still talking sad. to me? Why are you still in here? Why are you over here? Go why comb you your face here. Get out of my ain't got nothing to do with You a whack. You a whack. And you a punk. Get out of my you heard store. me. I mean, and who, and who gonna whoop me? Who gonna do something to me? Who, nobody needs to do nothing going, to you. So you can't say the I'm a crack. The off. crack is doing. Get out of my store. You a. Store. You a. Oh, I don't know that my sister's I don't give a. You don't scare me. Get out. You're not even close to me. Don't touch me. I'm not gonna touch you. What I'm gonna touch you for? Go back outside. What am I gonna touch you for? I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna touch you. You're a woman. I know, but you're over here talking to a woman because you're. Me here. Karen is having a meltdown. It looks like she's in some mental disorder commercial. You should see this. Watch this Karen in the wild hashtag first time. This Kevin thinks he owns the hotel. Just look at him acting like he's a celebrity. Loudness in the room? If I did, it doesn't matter. Where's the manager? She'll be here at eight. She'll be here at eight o'clock. There's nobody here now? She's in charge. I'm the only one working here right now. Okay. But what you did tell me was you have guests to be concerned with. No, I what? Have to check someone. No, out. your words were. I have guests I have to be talk. concerned with. I didn't say concerned. What I am I? That, that is exactly I what you said. Not I'm not in. That is exactly that. what you said. What am I? You're a guest, but you were yelling at me, and there was uh, there was a guest standing in front of you. You're me. calling my room at four o'clock in the morning. What do you expect? But to hang up on me and tell me, well, you have guests to be concerned with. What am I? A guest. And what level am I? A diamond. And you're still so you're telling me there's another diamond member involved? Okay, I get that. There is. Next to you. But you're not getting my point. You call me at 4 o'clock in the morning? Where were they at 2? Where were they at 1? I don't know. I just know. Was there a manager here then? Or have you been here on your own all night? All night. And I told you what I'm doing here, right? What is that? What I'm doing here, what? My purpose of my stay. Yes. You did tell me. But that's still a protocol to call a room when there's a noise complaint. And I didn't know your job. I'm sound I'm asleep. How, how can I be making excessive noise when I'm yeah. sound asleep. You, 
your your TV was a little loud, and I just asked you if you can lower it down. That's all. Just because you can sleep through a loud TV, other people can't. That's just what I'm saying. I know people you. I and my you. TV was not excessively loud because when you called me and I woke up, I heard the TV. My TV was not excessively loud. But well, you don't tell me I, well you have other guests to be concerned with. I didn't say that, that about is exactly your TV. What I you said, said that when I got off the phone with you because I stood on the phone with you for 20 minutes. I gave you no, my attention. We been on the phone Even for when you minutes. were yelling at me, I stayed on the phone. Now when I had a guest walk up to me, that's when I said, Is there anything yeah, else I, I can help you with? Because I have guests in front of me. That's why I well, said that. I didn't like I told you. This will not be the last you hear of it. Okay. All right? But don't treat me like I'm four years old. I didn't treat you like you're a four, sir. I treat you like everybody else in this hotel. Obviously not. Is everyone else in the hotel down here? No. I am. No. People's loud stuff waking me up. And I had worked during the night and I had to sleep during the day and then my sleep got interrupted and then well, I was down. Well, I will reiterate because obviously you weren't on the phone when I was talking to her. I stay in hotels 25 days a month. I do too. I well, hear the babies, I hear everything else. I don't do this. Because those are other guests and they don't deserve this kind of treatment, therefore, I don't solicit it from the hotel. I understand that. As a third unbiased party since I'm staying here, um, I've been here over a month. She's always been super, super polite. And some people, they listen to stuff and they don't realize it's so loud, but I've never called on anybody. He wants to drag the matter on for nothing. A self-aggrandizing Kevin. Body and list, I can hear it and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot sleep is driving me insane. I heard kids, I heard cussing, I heard door slamming, people walking in and out, it drove me nuts. Especially when I'm on day, night, day, night, day, night, and it's hard to get it. It's so hard. And sometimes I listen to stuff and I don't realize it's as loud, especially when I have sinus allergy mess ups. So I might be listening to something loud and I don't realize it's loud until someone calls. But I mean, she's always so nice to, no. It's not that I was sitting there not realizing it. You so were asleep, that. though. I was asleep. But see, I sleep with my TV on. Dead asleep. But somebody could have heard it, even though you didn't, because you were asleep. Because I sleep hard with my TV. I put my iPad and, beside my and head. That's the point. My room is next the where the TV is. Mm -hmm. There's a wall. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall is an ice room. machine. So. If someone the ice called, machine called down and said my TV's too loud. No. No. Somebody had to call because I've never heard for her to call her be ugly for no reason. I mean, she can't call you unless someone complained. I don't know. Maybe they were miss. Well, but that was my question. Did somebody come over? Yeah, There's someone called right because here. I was trying to get a hold of you her. Just told and me I couldn't. You didn't go up and listen to the to the floor, find out what room it was. Was it my room? This is this is the thing. If I, whatever, if, if there's a complaint, I'm going to respond to it. And I'm going to knock on your door, no matter if it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and tell you to turn the TV down. Now, if I get backlash from that, then I'll be calling JSO. And they might remove you from the hotel. So we can oh, do it. I'm telling you, my TV on and you're telling me the cops are coming to yeah. remove me yeah. from you know, my room. It's like what she Come told on, you, man. Like she, she told you, you guys got to start being oh. real. No, we're real. You right? got to be considered the other people, like she told you before. Consider, uh, yeah, like it could be the other way around. It could have been somebody else, and you call and say, "Well, the person next door." Just tonight, when I was walking, got out of the elevator. Look on the diagram. She apologized. I was right. I got out of the she elevator, walked to my room. I heard two rooms where you could hear the people. Yeah, but she has them coming out That's of the room. You got all these Green Bay Packers fans here right, now, right? right? So tonight, oh, after the football is? game was over, and I went back <laughs> up to my room, you could hear people. Did I call down here and say, "Hey, come get you know"? But some that that was nice of you. That no, was nice of you. I didn't. But if you so, would have, she would have taken care of it. Just, just. Take but that was 11 o'clock. I'm just saying. Not at 4 o'clock. You're too loud. You're too loud. 
you too loud. I understand you're, you're upset right now. But if you got a legitimate complaint, just talk to a manager. That's all. Just talk to a manager when you wake up in the morning. Well, that's why I came down. down. Usually there's a manager yeah. on duty. Yeah, but not tonight. Just do it like that. And I had to come down because I got hung up on it. She had a customer and she tried to tell me. I was right What's here. What's the customer? He's the customer is in front. He's going now. You know, I just was right just here. so you know, when I came down the elevator, an Asian guy yeah, was so walking to the, the elevator. The protocol, since you like using that word, would have been, well, I have a customer. Then I would have understood. I but not just claim. I said I had a she customer. She was on the phone for about 15, 20 minutes. I was right here. I so said that. Minutes, I'm, saying, I'm sitting there on the phone okay. right in front of my okay. clock. Just take it up in the morning. It was about right? six minutes. Okay, take it up in the morning, please. But what brought me down here is, well, I have guests to consider. What am I? You're a guest and you're just like anybody no, else. No, I'm not a guest just like anybody else in this hotel. You're contradicting your own words because I'm not being treated like every other guest in the hotel. Oh, I would be down here too. Up next, this Kevin assaults people and threatens to destroy their property. Watch his fellow cops doing nothing. He threatened to come back. I heard him. Arrest him, please. That's not illegal. That's not illegal to threaten to come back to whoop my. I didn't say whoop you. You said you whoop his. That's different, not yours. I don't care. That's still illegal. You cannot threaten to come back to someone's I'm house. Gonna whip him. For what? Because your what? wife doesn't know how to what? ask someone properly you, to take down a pool. Are you going to? How you going to? I don't know. I don't care. Just please leave. And why is it her fault? You put a pool in the front. Because you they know. gave us permission. We did not know that this was this you was. Got a week to move. We didn't know it was rented by somebody else. We He's apologize for that. But what I'm asking you is to please leave and not come back. What you just said. That is a threat, and I will get you arrested for that. The police already here. I do not yeah. care. I get will get you arrested. Yes, sir. By somebody else. So please just leave. Yes. Would you go to jail for putting your hands on him? Do you not have children? What are you worried about? Do you have kids? Do you have kids or do you just have an ego? Leave. Do I have? Do you have children? Because you're acting like an imbecile. Because look at you. You're a grown man arguing with a kid right now about a pool we got permission over. Just leave. You look stupid. You look stupid. Leave. Get the crowd up. You you are one trash. Yeah, Mr. Secretary of Chosen Sons, you are trash. Wait, bro, get him. He's beating on my. Stop shooting on the sun. Where are you going? That piece of. It's so on you. Now just trust the bar. Arrest him. Arrest him. He broke my door. Arrest him. Arrest him. He broke my door. I'm calling him out. I'm calling him out. I'm calling him out. I swear to God, arrest him, or I promise you, you will lose your job. Are you not gonna lock him up? Uh, Officer Mayo, no, 0184. Stop that. Stop no, no. that recording. Are you not going to lock him up stop or just break that. my door? Look at this. Please. And I'm not going to cap you. That's we come across this Karen at a nail salon who creates a scene and threatens to call the police on this worker. I'm talking to you as, as, as the owner. I didn't talk to her. I don't understand. You just speak English 10% and the rest on the other language. We have a camera. Yes. And you can see them. If you want to see them again. But you now can... I have to do my, I don't have yeah. to do my nails. Better that way. I tell you, I you ask him, please. I have to do my nails. I, ca I can't. I have to do my nails. We, we cannot. I came in at five thirty. I made the appointment to do my nails. I have to do my nails, or I'm gonna call the cops. Seriously, I, ha I have, I have a flight. Please. Yeah. You can call. We can call too. Yes. Yeah, we have the yes. camera and you. I don't care about the camera, please. I need to do my nails. You mean? No, seriously. I did not make it up. I made the appointment. Racist Kevin is well served. It's not the fault of the people if the pump isn't working, man. But go back to where the f came from. Uh -huh. Do not talk to him like that. You don't talk to people like that. First of all. Yeah, what's wrong with you? It's a big butt 
Pump work. Whatever he did, you are goddamn right I am. Yeah, you got them right. What are you, huh? What are you? Another immigrant, huh? What are you? What's wrong with you? You don't talk to me. It does. Yes. It allow you to say that. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It does. How? In what sense? Because it's my God given right. Is it? So yeah. it's my God given right to be turned over to racist. Is it? Is it my God given right to shoot you? Dead? I mean, do it. She wants to. I'm like, it's not giving you that. Don't want me. Well, you don't. You're not you don't say that to people. You don't say that. 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 You don't say Next up, this Karen is mad for a genuine reason, but she ruins it with her freak out. Just look at her. These potato chips, everybody. She just took it. Oh. She just ate these, licked her fingers, and put it on food. On our food that y'all are eating, she just ate them, licked her fingers, and then did it. You guys need to take a mix short. That means fix. I want all y'all to know that. You want to do it on live? We is at McDonald's, and this girl over here took and dug into a Cheeto bag, licked her fingers, and then grabbed the customer's food. Customer's food. We don't want that nasty. We don't know she been sucking. Oh, God damn. Karen employee mistreats the customer. She has the right to ask what she likes to eat. Calm down. Hi, how are you today? Who was who was talking to us back there? Do you have a question? About, a different question? About somebody saying you don't have to be this difficult? It doesn't have to be that difficult to order a sandwich. There's a way to order it and it just confuses the cooks in the front. So if I don't if I don't want my sandwich with everything on it, we're not you just allowed to say that at the beginning, because when they put it in, it, it's all it already prompts up to the front. Everything you say back there goes all the way to that front. So it just confuses them. So they start making it with everything on it, and then you say you don't want it, and you just want bacon. So it confuses the cooks. Okay, the but there's a nice a there's a nicer way. Add bacon. Okay, but there's a nicer way to say stuff. And there's a what, proper way to order food. So all right. If you don't want your job, if you don't want your job, just quit. Ma'am. If you don't know how to order food, then go somewhere else. Don't play with me. Ma'am, don't play with me. I'm not going to go ahead and pay. For, go ahead. Here, tell you your card. Cancel that order that's coming up. Take your card, please. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Yep. You too. Yep. She, she yep. <laughs> Stupid. Winter Kevin can't hold his boiling anger. Are you leaving me? 